Terry Toons Mavens. Uh, this is Melton Knight here to share a 1932 Terry Toon that could only have been made in New York. Imagine being an audience member trying to forget your troubles and coming home to a kitchen sink full of cockroaches, happy little cusses who, when they want to get drunk, they take a dose of forest dew, which was a beauty solution for the skin. Cycles. This is what Terry Toons are now remembered for. It was won by Art Babbitt. Uh, cheap. Cheap way of uh, suggesting spectacle, as were the uh, dozens of roaches painted onto the background suggesting that there is a lot more action going on than there actually is. A little bit of music there was uh, Deep River, the uh, spiritual. Now uh, we've got here, um, what's his name? Yes, uh, Jerry Shields could not move out of the silent mode and uh, eventually had uh, was taken advantage of by Terry uh, having his uh, pay cut in half because Terry realized that there was no other place for him to go. And uh, let's see, poor uh, Jerry Shields uh, eventually walked off a building. He was demoralized. And uh, we've got more. Ah, here we go. The Unsanitary Nursery. This is animated by Frank Moser, who uh, was another silent uh, type. And, uh, yes, yes, we've... Frank Moser, ah, Rosemary's Betty, Boop, that is. Yeah, uh, Frank Moser was a partner in the uh, Terry Toon Studios, a half partner, I think. His name was on the credits with Paul Terry, would have been here, uh, but he eventually was edged out of the company himself under suspect circumstances. And now we've got uh, the beautiful uh, girl cockroach animated by Moser again, who did a lot of uh, footage of uh, characters with dimensional legs and buttocks. And still uh, Frank Moser with the lovers. Notice the iris in there, the iris. Very old-fashioned technique. Only Terry Toons was using it by uh, that time. This cartoon could have easily been uh, released 10 years before and still would have been pretty bad. Now, cut to the uh, typical Terry Toons villain who appeared in just about every second Terry Toon of the time, the spider. Frank Moser close-up and a Tom Terrific hat. Very trademark uh, Moser. And this is followed by Bill Tytla, uh, one of the more forward animators they had there. And uh, Walt Disney was following his work as long uh, before, and he didn't even know his name. Now he's doing his uh, strong bully mouth here, as uh, appeared in uh, Disney's Pinocchio. Disney hired him away from uh, Terry in, I believe, 1934-1935. And uh, now we've got the chase sequence, which, uh, oh God, it, it was almost every one. Uh, villain chasing, uh, rather, a hero chasing villain. And uh, Klezmer-like uh, clarinet here. And uh, to the chase, we have our uh, our cavalry, the horsey set. Again, more, more repeated actions. But think about it. A person was only going to see this once. And who knows how few Terry Toons would have, they would have seen in a year. So these were diversions that only seem painful now that we can see them again and again through television and uh, now uh, home uh, video. Frank Moser doing uh, his uh, trademark ending with the uh, gory finish of the uh, the villain. 
they fly into the sunset. And thank you for being with us tonight. <laughs>